Now, this case started as an Amber Alert south of the border for a seven-month-old baby. As CBS 8's David Godfordson reports, the baby is safe, the mother is dead, and the father crossed the border into San Diego with a fake ID. Fifty-year-old Tyler Adams has at least 15 different aliases, and he's been called a master of disguise. These photos were taken just last week in Mexico when he was questioned about his missing seven-month-old daughter. He was able to cross back into San Diego on Thursday using a fake identification card, according to the FBI. We know he's got at least one other identification card, probably more, at his disposal to cross undetected. The baby girl was found safe in Mexico, but the body of the girl's mother, Rachel Sabian, was found inside a car near the beach in Tijuana. The FBI says Adams and Sabian had been crossing the border together in recent weeks. They were living in San Diego for a period of time. They relocated to Mexico, and they had been living in Mexico uh, for a couple months. Court records show Adams is an ex-con with convictions for identity theft resulting in loss of more than $200,000, grand theft, making a false financial statement, forgery, and receiving a stolen vehicle. Adams also has a warrant for his arrest out of Hawaii, where he is accused of escaping from a work furlough program. He needs to serve a lot of time in prison. David Sabian is now in Tijuana, trying to claim the body of his dead daughter and reunite with his granddaughter, who remains in protective custody. Sabian says he had a bad feeling about Tyler Adams from the beginning. Every time he was around her with me, he was always, hi, honey, hello, sweetheart. He'd tell me, I love your daughter, I love your daughter. But I didn't like him. He was a phony, you know. Uh, now, public records show his most recent address on this side of the border was in Temecula, but he also had previous addresses right here in Tierra Santa, as well as former addresses in downtown San Diego, Carmel Valley, and Carlsbad. Now, David, we know Adams crossed back into the United States into San Diego Thursday, so he literally could be anywhere at this point, right? Really, yeah, he could be anywhere, and he uses several fake names. In fact, when he crossed last week into San Diego, he used the name Aaron Lee Bain. So uh, with 15 aliases, it's best to rely on those photos which were taken of him just last week, and we've posted those at CBS8.com. Yeah, obviously something's going on with his face there. That's what the FBI said, certainly. All right, David Godfordson, thank you for it.